much bit do you say Jamal Charles is a great back, potential MVP of this league, and, mm -hmm. and how much are you guys kicking yourselves for what you're doing today? It's a, it's a lot of both. Yeah. Yeah, you got to, of course, give them credit for, you know, like you said, being just you know, as versatile as anybody, um, you know, being able to do it running and catching. And then at the same time, hey, you know, we, it's our job to try to stop So if we're, if we're not able to do that, then that falls on us. That's the most points allowed ever by the Raiders. Have you guys hit a wall, I think, uh, defensively? Or? I'm not going to say that. It's hard for me to say that. You know, I have the most faith in our guys. And just, I know how much pride is in the room. You know, we don't we don't ever come in, you know, thinking that we're not going to be at our best. And so for that to happen, you know, it, it does. It's like, you know, we just know that we got to get it fixed when we go in there next week. You know, it's it. You know, what I do love about the group, we're not going to quit. You know, there's nobody that's backing down from the challenge. Uh, you know, nobody said it was going to be easy. You know, try to get this thing right, so we are still going to try to do it. He was saying for, for weeks, Dennis Allen's been saying, that, that the same that the same exact thing, that there's no quitting these guys, they're going to keep working hard. Mm -hmm. What's the what's happening out there that, I mean, not obviously not in relation to not quitting. Mm -hmm. What's not what's happening? Well, effort is part of it. But the other part is, you know, doing it, doing it right, uh, you know, being good in the right situations. Uh, it's just a, you know, football is a very complex game. You can, you know, be technically in the right spot one play, but, you know, hey, if they make a play, they beat you, then, you know, then, then it goes to them. So it's just a lot of things, like making plays when we're in the spot, in the spot to do it. Uh, you know, knowing, knowing how they're going to try to attack us in certain places of the field, situations. Uh, so it's a lot more than effort, but if you don't have effort, you don't have a chance. Is it well frustrating that uh, you guys know how you can execute, and then when you go out and you don't execute at the level mm -hmm. that you can? Yeah, that for sure. Learn? I mean, it's, it's frustrating in anything you do. You know, when you have expectations, you practice, and then uh, when it doesn't go well, of course you leave a little bit disappointed. Uh, but you know, everybody's going to get knocked down. So it's, if you don't get back up the right way, that's when the problem comes. Is it a head scratcher why things aren't going right? Is it, uh, or can you guys pinpoint, hey, like, we're not doing X, Y, and Z? Mm -hmm. You look at the film and you really see it. Or... Yeah, for sure. No, it's no, it's no mystery. Right. You know, football is as complex as it is. It's still, it's still black and white. So we're able to look at it and see what we need to do. And uh, you know, all we can do is, like I said, just not, we're not backing down from it. So we keep going forward, trying to get it right. I'm sure the Chiefs have put plenty of screen passes on film this year. Can you account for some of the breakdowns you had against that play, not you personally? But what do you mean about it? Oh, breakdowns of the game? The, the screen passes uh, particularly, yeah. Uh, like I said, man, you know, if you, even if you know it's coming, you still got to stop it. So. Uh, like I said, you got to give credit to them for making the play, but you know, for some, if we have some missed tackles on big plays like that, then you know it's kind of our fault too for not giving them. Uh, you know, it's just like I said, it's just one of those things. That when you're trying to get things right, it could be a number of different factors, and a good team will take advantage. Of it. Just a few weeks ago, it, this defense was kind of riding high. They were they were shocking a lot of people that that had said bad things about them, perhaps in the off season. And and lately, it's kind of it seems to have kind of been going downhill. Is it? Would you say it's more the wear and tear of the season? Or is it something more the offenses are doing that they're pinpointing the, the weaknesses and exploiting them? I don't think there's an easy answer. You know, everybody's beat down by this time of year, so you know I think that that's that's marginal for everybody. So to say that it's you know we're getting tired, beat down, I wouldn't even call it that. It's just like I said before, if it's a matter of you know making the tackle when you got a chance to. Uh, you know, making a sack. I missed a sack today. Just chances to get off the field. We need to get the ball back more. There's a, there's a lot of things that compound it uh, to where it can, it can start sliding very easily. There's a small margin between you know, being good and being bad. Is the team losing any mental focus during this losing streak? No, no not at all. Uh, which, you know, that's part of being a professional. You know, it's your job to. No matter how things are going, it's your job to pay attention to how you can do it better. You know, it's going well. You know, how can you improve on that? And so right now, you know, trying to turn it around is, hey, it's a task. But you know, that's what we've been called upon to do. That's what we're going to do. Was there an element maybe of, of certain players or just at certain times, you know, players doing too much on a certain play? Uh, I, I wouldn't say that. Okay. No, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that was a problem.